Andy, we'll start with what's going on off the pitch. Obviously, there's quite a lot of talk in, uh, in the media at the moment about coronavirus, but as, as players this week, uh, how, how have things been with you and uh, is everyone just getting on with it as usual? Yeah, a lot of talk, but I think we just go keep doing our thing. I don't really think about that. We just focus on the football, still taking things game by game, not really worrying about anything else, which is just normal routine for us, really. Yeah, same things as usual. I'm guessing the medical staff have probably been that extra bit vigilant too, but you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, it's just been things about the basics, really, just washing your hands, for making sure soap, just any chance you get, little antibacterial gel, and keeping your yeah, handshaking and contact to a minimum as much as you can. But like I say, just focusing on football, really. And training this week as well, off the back of a good win last weekend. Has the mood been good all week? Yeah, like I say, it was a good, um, good week last week. I uh, started for win on Saturday, and then uh, unfortunately, and there was the uh, result in the cup on the on the Tuesday or Wednesday, I think it was. But it was a still good performance, and then went to Birmingham. The Stoker team got a very good result last weekend against Hull, beating them five one. So, uh, so they're a team that are going to be a match for anyone, I suppose. Yeah, I think they're they're fighting down the bottom, so they obviously be working hard trying to get results. So they're going to come uh, hungry, obviously, to get the points. But we just got to focus on our game, do our own thing, and make sure we come away with the win. And they had a really hard start to the season as well. They, they only had two points in the first couple of months of the season, pretty much, from the looks of it. So uh, for them to bounce back like that probably shows the, the strength that's still within that squad. Yeah, it shows good mentality from them. And obviously, they're uh, maybe on a bit of good form, like with what you said, we've obviously beaten Hull the way they did. So we've got to be wary of that. But we'll just focus on our game and make sure we do our own thing, implement our style on them. And another thing to be wary of as well is the fact that they're still only three points above the drop zone at the minute. So they're, uh, they're still going to be fighting hard for everything. Exactly that, yeah, they're going to be giving everything and they'll come with everything they can. They'll probably be looking to start bright. So, yeah, we just got to be aware of that, like I said, and just do our own thing. And back at the base on Saturday as well, there's, uh, as, as we record on Thursday lunchtime, there's still no word as to whether the game is going to be as usual, whether it can be behind closed doors. But um, regardless of what happens on Saturday, I'm sure uh, you and the boys will be given exactly the same commitment. Yeah, uh, yeah, it could be uh, behind closed doors. But either way, I think we'll still be, do our own thing, keep things the way we do usually be a bit different with obviously no fans there, no atmosphere, but like I say, you just have to get on with it in football and <laughs> try and not let it affect you and just keep playing the way we have been. And still a few games left to go this season as well. Uh, what's uh, what's the intention for the rest of the season, do you think, as, as a squad? I think for us it's just still game by game, trying to pick up as many points as we can before the end of the season and try and finish as high up at the table as possible. And obviously obviously improvement from last, last year already and we've still got games to go. So... Like I said, just try and climb the table and see how high up we can finish. 